Hey, it's Tidepool Tim. It's uh, late September here, and I'm down on the beach just collecting some seaweed for a customer. But uh, I just noticed um, all of these little depressions, these little holes, tiny little diggings. And uh, I was down here a couple nights ago doing some other collecting on the same beach in Pembroke, and uh, there were green crabs all over this beach. I'm out with my headlamp on, and everywhere you looked was a green crab. Small ones as big as a quarter, large ones as as big as a fried egg and uh, what they're doing is after the tide goes out at night the crabs come out of all of this rockweed this uh, knotted rack and bladder rack that's attached to these rocks and ledges and uh, they crawl out they find a, a clam hole and they dig a little depression you can see here where a small a soft shell clam was eaten uh, probably not last night but the night before you go over here you see every one of these little diggings. Here's one. Here's one. In fact, there's a green crab in the middle of the day. He's out here digging in the in the uh, sand and uh, eating up all our steamer clams. Here's some fresh diggings. Look, there's a little baby clam right there that was eaten last night. Um, just in this one area of maybe four square meters, there's probably a hundred or two hundred holes. So in the state of Maine, you know, is concerned about green crabs, something needs to be done here. We need a bounty on these things. We need to pay people to come out, trap them, and get rid of them because they're an army of clam diggers. And we as humans are getting nothing out of it. All we're getting and all we're seeing in our clam flats down east in Washington County is fewer and fewer clams. So uh, I'll do another video in a few nights. Um, I'll come down here and I'll show you just what an army of green crabs are digging up our beaches. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a good day.